hi everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Janae if you're new here don't forget to like comment and subscribe so y'all today we are gonna be well tonight it is nighttime what time is it it's 5 43 to be exact and my hubby and I have a movie date for 7 p.m. so I'm about to do my makeup I've already kind of did my hair this is my real ponytail y'all know y'all see me put my ponytail on on my last vlog so if you haven't watched that please go do so I'm gonna put it on again in this one but I probably like don't show like the full thing and I don't know what I'm gonna do with my bang but um yeah we're about to do my makeup full makeup routine everybody always asks me like oh can you show us your makeup so I feel like this is the perfect time um we are going to go see Mean Girls I don't know what I'm wearing but um let me get this hair out of my face first Okay, so I've already prepped and primed my face a little bit. So let me show y'all, cause I wanna show y'all step by step. So I use my Aveeno moisturizer first and then you have to completely let that dry. And then I use my one size primer and I'm now letting that dry. Don't be talking about me. Like I always, this is just like a little stocking cap thingy that I had in my drawer. I normally have a fan going, but I don't want my fan on right now because Y'all are gonna hear it, it's gonna make too much noise. And that just helps my makeup dry in between um, time. So that, hold on, hold on. So yeah, I normally have a fan on which helps my makeup dry in between time. Then guys, I like to go on with my Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. This primer is gold, look. I literally don't have nothing left in this. I'm using the corners. I'm gonna use every bit of it, but I do already have another one, but. I'm gonna use this so I can't no more. And I just rub this down. I don't really like to wipe it in circles. I like to just like wipe down. And if my face get red, my skin just gets red. Like whenever I rub and touch it. Cause I'm not being rough. Promise you. So once I rub that first layer in, I go in again. Only right here to fix my pores. And I just like to pat it in like this. And you can also go underneath your eyes if you feel like you need more there as well. Also guys, if you have like a pimple anywhere, like I have one right here, it is good to put this on it because this is also skincare. Per. But anyways, y'all, um, Prepping my skin is like the number one thing for me because the type of foundation I use. So it is a must to moisturize and also prime really, really, really good. Like I take my time when I am priming my skin. Okay. As you guys can see, my skin looks really good. Okay. So now let's jump into the makeup. And full disclaimer, I'm not a makeup artist. I'm doing my makeup all out of whack. This is just what works for me. And I wanted to show you guys my products. And since I don't know how to do my makeup, this is definitely um, beginner friendly makeup. So I like to start with my eyebrows. I'm gonna be using my MAC pencil in the color taupe. So I normally would use like Spike. I still can use Spike. Whoa. I still can use Spike, but I use Taupe because it's much lighter. As you guys can see, I have a really full eyebrows already. So let me show y'all how I do my eyebrows. So I gotta, I like to turn it around so I can use the zoom feature. So y'all, all I do is, first I brush my eyebrows going up. Then all I'm gonna do is outline my eyebrows. We're not gonna fill them in because I like how full they are. So I'm just gonna, outline it that is all then we're gonna brush the hairs going all down so now we're gonna line the top of the brow and I keep a very light hand when I'm doing this just like that and then we're gonna go ahead and do the other side I don't know y'all I have to like pull my skin whenever I do my eyebrows. I don't know why. I know they say don't do that, but I do it. So now that my brows are lined, all I do is brush out the line. Brush it going down. 
Then I'm gonna brush the bottom one going up. Same for this side. So that is it for filling in. Y'all see I barely fill it in. So next I'm gonna be taking my MAC concealer. This is the shade NW35. So I like my concealer to be like the same color as my skin. This one is actually a tad bit, maybe dark, but it's okay because I don't use that much. But I'm just gonna carve out my brows. And y'all, I go back and forth. Like I'll do the bottom, then I'm gonna go over here and do the bottom. So I know it's strange, but it's what works for me. So then I'm gonna go in with a lighter hand and just use what's left on the brush. Oh, then I'm also using this brush from NYX. On the one end it has like concealer and the other end is a spoolie. So I'm just gonna use what's left over. And I always start like mid brow and I just carve out the top of my brows. And then whatever's left in the front, I'll go in the front. I hope I'm not blocking and I'm totally blocking the freaking view. See? Mm. <laughs> what the hell? My phone be tripping, girl. What is? Oh my gosh, I gotta hurry up. It is 5.53. I was supposed to start doing my makeup at five, but my butt was running my mouth on the phone. I should have been ready. Like I should have been ready by now. But it's okay, we're gonna get there because I hate being late to the movies. But anyways, again, I'm just gonna start here with whatever left on the brush. And then I'm gonna move to the front. So guys, I'm gonna be taking this flat brush. This is a Morphe brush, but it's so old that it rubs off. No, this is not Morphe. I don't know what this is. So, so guys, then I'm gonna be taking this brush. I don't know where I got it from, but this is a symbol. And then I'm just gonna blend I'm gonna blend out my concealer. Just blend it going down. So now that the brows are done, guys, I'm just gonna be going in. This is my everyday makeup, which this is what I do all the time, except I'll go, I'll take my time and I'll like do a little bit more eyeshadow, but today we're just going to the movies, very chill. So I'm gonna be taking my Hulu bronzer and this Morphe M504 brush. And we're just gonna bronze up the eyes a little bit. And I like to put it all over my lid. Not much at all. Okay, as you guys see, that's very simple. And you're gonna see it come all together because right now it looks like I have on nothing. But anyways, we're gonna be taking some tape, y'all. This is my trick. So I took already two pieces and I stuck them to my leg and then I'm gonna peel them off. And we're gonna be using this little trick to do my eyeliner. So I'm gonna put these little strips of tape on my outer corner. This is just gonna help me do my eyeliner very easily. Make sure that it's on there. So next I'm gonna be taking my Morphe eyeliner. The tip look like this. It is so easy using this eyeliner. So guys, I gotta be quiet when I do this part, but just pay attention. It's gonna be so simple and easy. I start from the outer corner and go in. Then we're gonna let that dry a little bit. Perfect wing. So 
So now guys, I have the perfect subtle wing. So now I'm gonna be taking my Snap Scare, guys. I love this mascara. So it's not waterproof, but it's made out of wax. So it don't run. This is the best. And you can still take it off with the water at the end of the day. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little bit of mascara. I'm gonna be taking my same pot concealer with that same brush. And I'm gonna go in and color correct all of any little dark marks. So while that concealer sit on my face and get thicker, I'm gonna apply my lashes. So these are the lashes that I love so much. I get them from my local beauty supply. They're the Miss 3D Volume Lash in number M365. So I had another lash that I used to love from this brand, y'all. Also, I'm gonna be using tweezers as well, but I used to have this other lash that I love for this brand, y'all, and it freaking got discontinued. So I found this one. So I'm always like on the look for my favorite lash, but these are by far my favorite right now. So y'all, don't judge me. I use this type of glue or any type of hair glue for that matter to put on my lashes because Lash glue just does not work for me. I have so many different types of lash glue, y'all, and it just never, ever, ever works for me. So I'm gonna take any little thin brush to apply the glue to my lashes. Stick it in here. And I'm just gonna apply a very thin line to the lash line. The way I like to apply my lashes is I like to have a mirror underneath me and I look down so I can put my lash on works like a charm every time so once the lash is on i just like push it really tight i got that lash on pretty good it could be better but it's working it's going <laughs> Jesus. Where he going? Okay, lashes are on. I'm seeing blurry right now. Make sure these things are dry. So now I'm gonna be taking my Born This Way concealer. This is the best concealer on the market. Argue with your mama, not me. Um, Let I just add. I also like my concealer to be very close to my skin tone. I'm gonna let this sit for a second. I'm gonna grab my setting sprays off the fridge. Also, while this is sitting, I like to go ahead and prep my setting powder and I like to use the CoverGirl. This, I don't know if it rebranded, but I cannot find this in the store. I had to order this on Amazon and it took forever for it to come. Um, but I'll link this in my Amazon store. I'm going to try to link all my products, but whatever I can look in my Amazon store, check the Amazon store. But I love this setting powder so much. Also for my nose, I use this one, which is all scratched off, but this is the Ben Nye Banana Powder. But yeah, I'm just gonna, gonna prep that, basically have it open. And then I like to use this puff to apply it. And I really like this, I got it off Amazon. I will also add this in my storefront. So now I'm gonna be taking my e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush. Love this brush. And we're gonna blend out, oh wait, 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 wait. rewind. So now guys, I'm gonna go ahead and blend out the concealer I used to color correct with my finger. And then the thing is, you have to blend around. Never blend on top of the blemish because then you're going to take the product off. And then your blemish is going to show through. So now I'm going to be taking my e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush. It looks like this. And we're going to just blend out my concealer. As you guys can see, that concealer blends out 
very beautiful it looks like i'm already wearing foundation guys because of my prep i do not play about my favorite primers i have a few of them i will share those with you guys but today i showed y'all the two that i use let me show y'all again the one size secure the sweat and the tatcha silk canvas chef's kiss look at my skin so good right but anyways, I'm doing all that talking. Let me make sure I have no creases under my eyes. And then sometimes, guys, I like to go in with one of these and like just tap underneath just to make sure it is very smooth. But the brush normally does a great, great, great job. So now I'm gonna be taking the setting powder, rub the excess off on my hand. That is a lot. And we're just gonna go in and sit. Then I also like to take the leftover and put it where I um, concealed. I'm not really a baking girl. Sometimes I'll let it sit, sometimes no. But now guys, time for foundation. I told you guys I'm doing this a little backwards. Well, it may seem backwards, but y'all gonna get it. Y'all gonna understand why. So for foundation guys, I'm using a powder foundation. This is the best powder foundation on the market. I have tried all of them. Trust me, I go right back to this one every time. So I'm gonna be using MAC Studio Fix in, in the shade NC44.5. This is my perfect, perfect, perfect shade. And in the winter guys, I use C6. And then in the summer, I just have like a darker shade and I like to mix them or whatever. But this stuff lasts me so long, guys. So freaking long. But as you see, guys, this is my color. I hit pan. But, but I'm going to be taking this e.l.f. powder brush. Looks like this. Very flat. And we're going to apply my foundation. So let me show y'all how little you need with this foundation. And plus with me priming my face, I don't have to do too much. So... Dab it. Y'all see how much is on there? It's not even fully on there, but let me show y'all. So I just go in on the bottom of my face. For one side, then we're gonna do one dab again. We're gonna go in on the other side. That is pretty much all the foundation that I use. I do not like my face to look so cakey, but guys, I blend, 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 blend. And I always get so many compliments on what I use and people ask me what I use. I really don't normally put it on my forehead, but you know, drag it up. Definitely gotta get the nose. Oh, and if I didn't tell you guys my skin type, I am very oily so combination but mostly oily blend like your life depend on it <laughs> see what time it is it's 6 25. okay and then sometimes guys if i feel like my um concealer is too harsh on my brows i'll dab underneath it just to soften it a bit but that's it okay foundation is on as you guys see i'm very like mute this is just the elf highlight brush i'm just going to take this brush and dust off the powder that was there so guys i want to be taking this small smudge brush with this ben nye banana powder and we're gonna highlight my nose this is like my um this is my cheat sheet to contour my nose we're gonna just go down the middle. Just like that. Then I'm gonna be taking my Hulu bronzer in this contour brush. You guys see how it's angled. Really like it from Sonia. I think it's like Sonia Cashel. I don't know how to pronounce it. I don't know. But anyways, we're just gonna be contouring my nose. And I like to just go down the sides of the highlight that I just put. Very simple. I wanna learn how to contour my nose better. Like I wanna really learn how to do that. 
how to contour and all. Guys, I'm not going with this e.l.f. blending brush. You see how it's tapered? And then I just softly blend. And I just softly blend my nose contour. All the way around. So now I'm gonna be taking this Morphe M527 contour brush. Use that same contour, as you guys see, this is my favorite. Then we're just gonna contour the face. This is gonna bring some more life back into me. Oh shoot, I have no more um, footage. Okay guys, I don't know if the angle is still right because I had to move my camera because my battery went out. I mean, not my battery, my sim, my sims card ran out. I had to change my sims card. So yeah guys, like I take my time blending, like I blend a lot. Okay, now that the face is all bronzed up. Well, since my face is looking pretty mute, well, it's not looking mute anymore. Um, so I have my Charlotte Tilbury Press Setting Powder in the shade number two. It is medium tone. Um, it looks like this. This is my little powder that I take for my purse. And I have a bigger one that I keep in my makeup thing. But I think I'm going to add some of this just to light up my under eye. Because normally I would do this with the same CoverGirl setting powder. But I want to brighten it up a little bit. So we're going to use this. We're gonna contour. Ooh. See what I mean? Definitely brighten it up. Oh, so yeah, guys, I'm going down the sides of my nose and I'm gonna drag it underneath my eye and down the side of my nose just to brighten up. And then also, I put it in the corner of my eyes to give me a little highlight. Oh, she got some right there, it's okay. So then I'm gonna be taking this little tapered brush. This is the brush I keep with me all day long just to touch up my under eyes. This is Morphe, I don't know what number, but y'all see the way it look, y'all can just like find it. And then I'm just gonna blend out this color. And then like I blend my nose like this. Like I brush the highlight over the contour to soften it. Then we're gonna blend out that nose highlight. So once all this is on, I go ahead and take my brush that I use my foundation with and I blend it all together. I just go over everything that I did. I don't add anything to my face. Just to make, just to make everything like seamless, you know? So I have Vaseline on my lips. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe that off. Then I'm gonna be taking my Too Faced Lip Injection um, Extreme Lip Gloss, and we're gonna um, just put this on. I like to let it sit before I do my makeup. So I normally would have been put it on, but... And then the reason why I also like to put it on because it makes my lips red, and I, I don't like that. Okay, so while we're letting that sit, now I'm gonna be taking my Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. This is the Airbrush Flawless setting spray. So I freaking love this stuff. So. Now I'm gonna be taking my Morphe blush palette. This is what it looks like. This one broke. I did not use this, this one broke. I like to use like these three shades out of this palette. So I'm gonna be taking my e.l.f. blush brush and I'm gonna be dipping into these two in the colors Hot and Free. So 
so guys my highlighter this isn't really a highlighter but it's a highlighter <laughs> so so i'm gonna be taking my old darling extra diminished skin finish i use this as a highlighter this is a freaking highlighter but they call it a skin finish i'm gonna take my fan brush i don't know where i got this from but it's just a fan brush um then i'm gonna be highlighting my face I like to do like my cheekbones and then with the leftover I smile and like add it to my blush to give myself some skin like look. <laughs> then guys I'm going to be taking this little tiny 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 brush literally and using my same skin finish we're going to highlight the nose. I just do a dot and then a little bit here and then I like to rub it in with my finger. Also, I'm going to give me some highlight in my inner corners. Who y'all had to make sure I wasn't recording slow motion. My heart almost dropped. So what now? So guys, now my makeup is pretty much done as far as my face. So I'm gonna be taking my one size setting spray, y'all. I love this stuff. This is the On Till Done Mattifying Waterproof Setting Spray. I just bought another one because this one I'm almost out, but I bought these together. This is this was the like original size. This was a travel size because I was trying it out. But now that I see I like it, I'm definitely gonna be buying some more. Well, I've bought more. So for final touches, I'm going to just brush my eyebrows out because I'm sure I done messed them up with my makeup. Now I'm going to be taking my Anastasia Brow Gel. This is in the color Clear. And I just want to put a little bit. Because I like my eyebrows to look soft, but this defines it like a little bit more. Brows on what? Do y'all still say that? Brows on fleet? Hmm. Who knows? So I'm gonna be taking my snap scare. I'm gonna add a little bit of mascara to my bottom lashes. Just literally a little bit. I don't like for my under eyes to look dark. And we are done with the face. Oh, I got to do my lips. I got to do my lips. So, y'all, I don't know where my freaking MAC lip pencil is in the color cork. So, I'm just going to be using this brown pencil I got from the Beauty Supply. And I'm going to softly line my lips. I know I have a lip liner that looks just like my skin color. That's what I would really want. But I'm just going to use this for right now. I don't want my lip liner to be too dark because then it's gonna make my makeup look like more dressy. And I want it to be more chill than anything. Then I'm gonna be taking my Morphe lip gloss in the color Famous. We're gonna put that all over my lips. This is actually the perfect color. Oh shoot, y'all, it's 6.45. Hold on. Then I'm gonna be taking my Remedy by Ari in the color Pink Matter. We're just gonna add that to the middle of the lip. Just like that and the makeup is done. So guys, I'm about to clean up real quick, put my jewelry on and then we gotta see what we're gonna wear. I know I'm gonna do silver because I wanna wear pink. Okay guys, so my makeup is done, but let me go ahead and put like my jewelry on, finish putting my ponytail on, and I'll be right back so you guys can see the finished look. Okay guys, I am dressed. I rushed and did my ponytail, so if this don't look right, I'll just put it behind my ear, but we're going to leave it down for now. This is what my ponytail is looking like. 
then I'm wearing this jogger two piece. I'm gonna show y'all the full thing when we get there, but I'm super late. Y'all, we're supposed to be leaving off this house. It's 7 05. We gotta go. We gotta go. I'm just gonna be putting on my Air Forces. I'm gonna be putting on my Marc Jacobs Perfect. I really should be wearing my Britney Spears, the old school vibes, but it's okay. I normally, um, I have a smaller version, but since I'm wearing this big old purse, I can bring this in there. Um, oh, I gotta put my rings on. Let me lotion. Let me lotion my hands first. All done let's go i'm gonna see you guys at the movies guys we made it <laughs> you look so familiar. I always come here. Yes, and you have that you YouTube channel. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, mean Girls Auditorium 10. Okay, thank you. Thank you. It's so exciting. Whole new level of crazy these days. This is an emergency. Get off the train. That man's trying to kill. I can see the future. She didn't see that coming? That's not how it works. That man is Ezekiel Sims. He was in the Amazon with my mom when she was researching spiders right before she died. It's honestly like the... I have no idea what those girls are called. But you want to live, and you have to trust them. It's time for you to meet the real Agent Argyle. Oh my god. favorite movie theater. Look at the bar. So nice in here. So, um, this bang is crazy. But, um, we just finished our movie. We're about to get ready to go get ice cream. I've been dying to go to this place to get ice cream, so we're finally about to go. You ready, boo? Yeah. You deleted some stuff? Mm -hmm. Y'all, not gonna lie, this movie was not my favorite. Like, thinking of the first one and then this one, I was not a fan. But, mm, I'm, I probably won't watch it again. Like, I'm gonna give it a, Regina George can sing. The, the Regina George in this movie, she can sing and I love when her music came on. But this movie was a musical and they should have portrayed it as such. All right, guys, we're back home. We didn't go get ice cream because the ice cream place was getting ready to close. Y'all, I forgot to switch my phone case to a pink phone case because I was rushing. But it's okay. I got my icy. But yeah, so guys, what I was saying about the movie was I did not know that it was a musical. 
Like when I seen the trailer, I never seen nothing that said musical. So I was a little taken back by it. My husband was like, he looked at me, he said, you wanna leave here and go see Color Purple? Cause I told him, you wanna see Color Purple or you wanna see Mean Girls? Cause y'all know he don't like the movies, but I do so. But I was, I was disappointed. Cause you know, I really loved the first movie. And then so this time it was just like, it was mid, but the girl who played Regina George, she can sing. I need to find her like, who is this girl? Like she could sing. So, um, but I, I couldn't deal with all the, the music. Like I just could not deal with that. Only parts I liked was Regina George's. But the first one, I just feel like when you're remaking a music, I mean, when you're remaking a movie that is a classic that everyone loved, it's pretty hard to do that. So I wouldn't do it. Like I wouldn't even want to be an actress in that movie because y'all making the clown me. But um, but I do feel good because my hair is freshly washed. And when I do my ponytails, like I don't. Ooh. When I do my ponytails, I don't pile a whole bunch of gunk in my hair i just use a little bit of hairspray and slick it back in oil so whenever i take it loose i can just comb it out and literally it's like no product is on it but i still have a bit of a mess here so i think i'm about to clean this up and maybe watch raisin canaan um with my husband so i love you guys and oh y'all this is how my makeup looks um, I haven't touched it up or nothing. Let me look down. So y'all can see how my eyeliner look. I don't know if y'all can see it. It still look good. Y'all, and then my whole ponytail came off in the movie theater because I was so cold and I was laying up under my husband. He hit in my ponytail. Next thing you know, it just started unraveling. I said, I said, you done made my whole ponytail come off. I'm in there combing with my finger, y'all. I put it back on. I don't know what it looked like. <laughs> this is what it looked like. But I put it back on because who walked in with a ponytail and came out with no ponytail, not me. But yeah, this outfit was super cute. I really wish we would have went and got ice cream. But um, yeah, I got so many compliments tonight. But I love you guys. See you guys tomorrow. Hey babes, it is the next day. I'm getting ready to go to the grocery store because I'm gonna make some turkey chili tonight. It is freezing cold in Houston, y'all, but look at my hat. I think it said I get it from my mama. Got it, it said got it from my mama, it's so cute. But yeah, my hair, I washed and straightened it yesterday. Come on. I washed and straightened it yesterday, so, um, because I did my hair in a frontal ponytail. So today I just put this hat on and put my hair in ponytail. Anyways. We're about to go to H-E-B. So I just have on this pink jogger set from um, Kind On. It's super, super, super old. Like it really needs to be washed. I feel like it's all stretched out. I'm making it tight in the back. But yeah, and I put my purse on like this. I'm also wearing my platform Uggs. Love these so much. Then I'm just gonna put on this long trench coat, y'all, because I'm really not in the mood to be cold. So, I'm going to put a scrunchie on this because I keep trying to roll it up, but it keeps letting loose. So let's just put a scrunchie. Because two big things ain't cute, you know. So, since I got on a big jacket, I want my shirt to fit a little bit. Make myself look decent. So yeah, this is the fit, looking like a pimp. Oh my God, I look like a pimp, but it's not okay. Let me show y'all, let me show y'all the full fit, baby. I look like I, I look like I live in New York. Um, let me turn on this lamp because I feel like when I get back, it's gonna be dark. So this is the full fit, Uggs, joggers, jackets, hat with the pony, <laughs> too funny y'all. But one thing I won't be, it's cold. 
the lighting on this camera is not so good and fyi y'all i prefer my canon for vlogging over my sony honestly honest to god i think i'm gonna end up getting my canon again but i'm gonna upgrade because i have the mark ii i think i'm gonna upgrade to the mark iii very soon i'm not sure but we're gonna see but anyway quick update i slept in today i always ha at least have to give myself one day out of the week where i allow myself to sleep in so this was the day i didn't make breakfast or anything me and my husband ate cereal this morning so um i just recently got up i washed clothes i journaled i finished one of my journals i finished my success journal and now i'm i mean i finished my six minute diary and now i'm starting my six minute success journal which i'm super excited about that I posted a picture of myself of what I wore last night when we went to the movies. I looked so cute in my pink. And then I also posted a vlog. So if you guys have not watched it, make sure you watch it. And honestly, I need to, I'm trying to figure out what's the best days to post a vlog. My vlogs are gonna go up either Sundays or Thursdays, one of the two. And my workout videos will be on Tuesdays. Tuesdays or Wednesdays. I gotta figure out all of that. I gotta figure that all out. But yeah, let's go to the store and we're gonna make some turkey chili for tonight. Ah, I'm excited. Oh, and I'll make some cornbread. Where is my, oh, my phone right here charging a little bit. So yeah, guys, let's go to the store so we can get back home. y'all so i got everything that i needed out of h-e-b except for one thing they didn't have any cilantro so i'm coming into aldi to see if i can get some cilantro because i don't want to go all the way to the other h-e-b and y'all know this is like a little small mini grocery store they look empty in here too they got kombucha okay let me get what i need and then i'm gonna see y'all at home all right, y'all, I'm back from the grocery store. Um, I'm drinking my kombucha, the Synergy brand. This is my favorite brand. I be seeing, I've tried a lot of different brands. This is my number one. I, this light is blinding me. But anyways, this is the peach kind, so good. All right, so I'm gonna put these groceries up and then we're gonna start cooking. I'm a dog, but I still wanna party. Pink felt like I'm ready to bend. I'm a 10, so I pull the next 10. Like, Jazzy, stay All of the bobbies is pretty damn. All of the bodies is bad. It's the girls, and we can play tag. Red, but he spank me when I get bad. I'm in LA, Vontale Drive. I'm in New York, Madison Ave. I'm a Barbie girl. Pink Barbie dream house. The way it can be killing shit. I'm yelling out like the scream house. If you're yelling out, we ain't selling out. We got money, but we ain't lending out. We got bars, but we ain't billing out. And that pink Ferrari, we pillin' out. So take bring the vibe, billing out. The hook's so cold, we just chillin' out. They be yelling, yelling, yet yeah, yelling out. It's Barbie, bitch, if you still in doubt. And I'm bad like the Barbie. I'm a doll, but I still wanna party. Pink felt like I'm ready to bend. I'm a 10, so I pull in a 10. Like, Jazzy, Stacy, you keep out.
Guys, the food is done. Here's the chili. Babe's gonna taste it. Oh, shoot. Tell me how it tastes. Mm -hmm. Never mind my shirt, y'all. He loves them Christmas pajamas. 747B. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Okay.